Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kavya Sambasivam. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. This fall, I'm just in my feminine energy. Let's light a candle to signify the divine feminine energy. If anyone ever needs to get me a gift for any reason, I highly recommend getting me a candle or a Squishmallow, which by the way, both of my Squishmallows that have been featured several times on my Instagram are from Amazon. And a lot of y'all actually asked me questions about them, so I will be linking them for you below. Let's all just have matching Kiwi Squishmallows. Also, this is gonna distract me, so let's all right, y'all, so today I'm gonna be sharing my fall makeup that I should be wearing this season. I have been obsessed with the idea of fall this year. I always love fall, but I also grew up in North Carolina where I truly experienced all four seasons every year. Now, obviously, one of the perks, but for me, it's not a perk, of living in Los Angeles is it's sunny all year. I miss rain and I want to see some freaking trees. So I need y'all to go ahead and grab yourself a snack, get cozy, get yourself some tea so we can match. I point out that I'm already wearing my fake lashes. This has been a huge like game changer for me for some reason. My makeup has been turning out way better when I put my fake lashes on first. I am not a big eyeshadow gal, so it works for me, but these are the Kiss Drip Lashes. I always link these for y'all. So starting off, I've been using this new primer. This is the Embryolisse Late Creme Concentrate, and I just saw this all over TikTok, so I had to pick it up. I really like it. It's very milky, and it just, you know, it's a nice base. You guys, I have so much stuff that I wanna talk to y'all about today. First of all, New York Fashion Week literally starts today. And last year, when I moved to Los Angeles, happy one year anniversary in Los Angeles to me. I remember I moved into my apartment, I had like a week, and then I immediately went to Fashion Week. This year, I also, like my lease ended, so I moved into a new apartment. And I made this decision, which, you know, I've only been to Fashion Week two times. And I have loved my experience every year. But for some reason, this year I just did not feel that passionate about going. You know, and it's not that I don't love or appreciate fashion or fashion week. It's just I'm kind of in this space right now where I'm trying to focus more on personal development and going to fashion week. If you guys have been, it's so chaotic sometimes. I have this really bad habit of biting off more than I can chew to the point where it kind of affects my daily life. Something about me is routine is my happiness. And I'm just starting to form this really strong routine in my new space and in Los Angeles in general. I think that, you know, this is the first time that I've really felt at home here. And I've lived here for about a year now. So um, now that I'm starting to address to Los Angeles, I kind of just wanted to focus on that. And you know, you have to prioritize your mental health, keep your boundaries with yourself. I think that's one of the most important lessons of life is like sometimes you just have to be aware of your feelings and your emotions and what is truly best for you. I know that this foundation looks a little bit dark. Y'all know I love the Rare Beauty foundations and the darker shade that I'm currently using is called 430W but trust the process. I feel like the orange tones in that foundation cancel out any hyperpigmentation that I may have. I go ahead and I use my lighter shade. This is in the color 380W. And I'm just gonna put this in like the points of my face that I kind of want to highlight. So middle of my forehead. Have you guys ever noticed how big events and big transitions in your life often all happen at the same time. I went home, I went to Mexico with my family, I went to my brother's graduation, just got to spend a lot of time at home. And honestly, you guys, whenever I got back to LA, I finally felt like I had cured my little homesick bug and like I had a new wind under my wings. A lot more motivated, a lot happier, excited to just wake up in the morning, which like, that is a point of life, is to wake up excited in the mornings, right? So. Um, I realized that there were a few things in my life that aren't really serving me and making me happy. If anything, they were really draining me. I think that our 20s are scary for a lot of different reasons. I feel like everybody just has a series of crises. Is that crisis plural? I think so. Um, and we just kind of lose our purpose a little bit. So I decided I should just maybe stop lying to myself and start pursuing the things that truly excite me, that make me feel like I'm free and alive. Literally after I had the opportunity to speak with my agents and everything, I walked out of that meeting 
so light and happy. I'm definitely very career oriented and I think a lot of you guys probably are too because you know you're you're watching my channel like we're we gotta have something in common you know yeah i i think that sometimes you have to be really honest with yourself about what's serving you and what energy is positive for you you know i prefer using powder contour on my jawline and then i like to use my cream contour this is from rare beauty as well um in the shade full of life I love using cream contour on my cheekbones and my nose. As you guys can see, I have like insane bags under my eyes today because I shot a campaign yesterday and it was a lot of fun. I'm passionate about the projects I'm able to work on. And honestly, guys, like here's, here's another thing. Stop being so scared because the truth is opportunity does exist everywhere. You just have to go and get it, you know? I am a big believer that seeds are planted in us for a reason right like the things that you're daydreaming about the things that you feel naturally inclined towards those are your passions and ignoring that is such a big disservice so it's kind of what i've been in it's just this era of like seeing things for what they are and rather than judging myself or rather than doing things because i feel like they're right or they're wrong i'm just doing things based on how they make me feel. Um, and I'm sure at some point that could negatively affect me too, but for right now it feels good and I'm waking up happy every day. So yeah, I, I highly recommend that you guys make those decisions, make the hard decisions, make sure that the people in your life make you smile more than they make you cry, you know? So my nose contour trick is I just put a tiny bit, literally just a tiny little line and then I'm gonna grab my little blending brush. Blending brush is actually a crease brush from The Perfect Face. The, the Perfect Face is this brand of makeup that actually sponsored pageant girls back when I was Miss North Carolina teen. So I've been holding on to the products and stuff that I got from them for quite some time. I really do like this brush too for my nose contour. I've been using this for my nose contour ever since I got it. So now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of my Huda Beauty baking powder. I use the shade of banana bread. And I know this is weird because most people bake at the end, but because my eye bags look like this right now, I just need to kind of fill them in. So I'm just putting a little bit of this powder on the areas that I tend to crease. So the sides of my mouth and then up my eyes also these brushes i got on a set on amazon i'm not sure if they still have it because i literally got them like five or six years ago but i will find something really similar and i'll link that for y'all everything that i'm using in this video i'll definitely link for y'all i'll also include the shades so if i forget to say a product's name just look in the description because it'll be there. We're gonna move on to brows. I'm just gonna go ahead and give them a quick little comb. The Anastasia Brow Definer. That one is a little thicker than the brow pencil, but I actually prefer the brow pencil for precision. I just have this one right now. So after this runs out, I will most likely be going and grabbing the brow pencil. So I will also have these contacts linked for you guys below. Listen, I hate drama. Like there's nothing I hate more than drama actually. And it's almost to a point where I don't really like having friends because I'm so afraid that there could potentially be drama one day. I try my best to kind of just like make content that's cool for me and relatable. But these days I'm starting to show more of my personality and communicating with you guys more because I'm realizing that, you know, I love you and you're my friends and my family, honestly, at this point. So I wanna talk to y'all and tell you what's going on in my life, tell you about the things I've been insecure about um, growing up. So I had made this video about my elbows, right? You guys saw, if you watched my, um, if you watched my body care routine, I was talking about having hyperpigmentation growing up and all this stuff. And I woke up the next morning. I kind of made like a short version and put it on TikTok. I woke up the next morning to like a bunch of people tagging me in the comments of some girl's video. And basically she was like, I think it's really crazy how this influencer, and like she didn't say my name or anything like that. She's like, I think it's really crazy how this influencer is talking about self-love and like normalizing hyperpigmentation, being comfortable in your skin as a darker skinned woman but 
at the same time like she's wearing green contacts guys i'm not gonna lie i really don't get affected by things easily like i have very thick skin the only people that's criticism actually affects me is like my family to ask people for their advice like do you guys think i should duet this video and kind of give my two cents because I'm a big believer that you should wear and do whatever you want to your appearance. If that means like physically altering your appearance by getting cosmetic surgery, so be it. If that means dyeing your hair purple, so be it. If that means expressing yourself through different clothes, styles, so be it, you know? And so it really has always confused me why there is such a double standard with women of color wearing colored contacts. I think a lot of people's argument is that it's Eurocentric beauty standards, but honestly, there are so many Indian and Desi women and also just like around the world, there are so many people of color that have like blue eyes, green eyes. That is not an inherently Eurocentric Trait. It's not that it makes me feel more or less confident. I truly believe that brown eyes are superior. Like, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I think brown eyes are so beautiful, reflect so much light. They're so childlike and cute to me. So, you know, that's how I look 99% of the time. The 1% of the time that I like to wear contacts is literally when I'm filming. So, I don't know. I kind of want to hear you guys' opinions on that. I'm someone that has done a lot of internal work on developing my confidence and loving myself and my skin and now i'm getting to this next level where i'm able to share things that i maybe wasn't so confident about so yeah it did definitely like rub me the wrong way that i was talking about my experience as a woman of color and then you have women of color responding to that completely disregarding my experience and focusing on my current appearance and what i look like and what that says about me and who I am as a person. Like, there are just all these little fallacies in an argument like brown women shouldn't be wearing colored contacts or brown women wearing colored contacts is the equivalent of them being insecure or being fake. Like, no, that's not true. Ultimately, I think that is like the problem with society. We spend so much damn time criticizing other people. Okay, so I've been setting my nose for that entire conversation because I was trying to buy time to like get all of my thoughts out, but it's looking really great. So again, I just use my Huda Beauty powder to carve out my contour a little bit and to really set the concealer, which by the way, I was using this Kosas concealer. I use the shade 6.8W. I'm a bigger fan of the Hourglass concealer in the shade Dune. You guys know that already, so I will link that for y'all as well. Again, I'm doing this so out of order but I'm about to set my brows with this 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I'm just taking the excess contour that was on my brush and kind of going back over this. Like I'm not adding any product or anything like that, but kind of just want to blend this in and have this look a little bit more intense. Now y'all know about this Dibs blush. I talk about this blush like practically in every single makeup tutorial that I do. I am a coral blush stan. Like I love coral blush. This one, you can only, I mean, the only place I've been able to find this is the Revolve Beauty site. So I'll have this blush linked. Look, I'm almost out. I've been using this all summer. There's no other blush color that I actually enjoy as much as this one. And the application is just so so satisfying to me for some reason so what i do is i just kind of tap it on in the general areas that i want it this was such a great summertime color too so let's see how well it transitions into this fall look but you know you can bring it over your nose and kind of give yourself that fake suntan look and oh my gosh i'm obsessed so yeah i'll have this exact like shade linked for you guys because i always my like label is really scratched up and it always takes me like six minutes to read it. So just look in the description and I'll have it for you. This is the Real Techniques 29 brush. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I have been a really big fan of watching like certain TikTokers these days, right? Like I've been trying to limit my time on the app and all of that stuff so that I can, you know, live my best life and have my best routine. But recently, I've been so freaking obsessed 
with Jade Amber because first of all, I think just cause she's from North Carolina and she also loves pink. So I, you know, initial, but no, like this girl needs to be my best friend. I'm obsessed with her and her vibe. Like she has such a good energy. She's such a good mom. I've been loving like watching family content too. So I don't know what that says about me and what era I'm in in my life, but I mean, I'm definitely not ready to have a family yet, but it is like my dream. I think that's another thing that I've realized about living in Los Angeles is like, I'm such a family oriented person. It's actually crazy the number of times that I speak about my parents and my brother in any conversation. Like I talk about my dad and his story to every person that I ever know and every person that I ever meet. So yeah, and, and you know what? I will be so happy if my kids love me like one tenth of the amount that I love my parents. The way I'm gonna cry because that like makes me so emotional. It's like my parents did such a good job. Like why am I doing this? This is crazy anyways. My parents did such a good job and they deserve the world and I'm going to give them the world. Like that is just, there's no debate. Like there's no debate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw my little freckle back on. Is the double take eyeliner from Tarte. It's one side is a pen, one side is a pencil and the other side is a liquid because y'all know I'm obsessed with the hourglass eyeliner. It's so good. It's the best eye pencil on the market. It literally stays all day no matter what you're doing, girl. Another thing that I have noticed that I prefer with makeup is having a matte eyelid. So I'm just like, I don't know. I just don't really like having grease on my eyelids. I don't think it looks that good on me. The whole glossy lid thing is not cute. So I'm just gonna hit my lid with a little bit of powder as well. You know, get her nice and matte. Now that it's fall, I'm kind of over the glowy look. So this lip combo that I'm about to show you guys is what I like to call my maple glaze donut lip. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite lip combo for the fall time. And there's a couple products in here that I've never really like reached for in my makeup bag before. So yeah, but y'all already know the lip liner, she's a staple. This is the NYX lip liner in the shade Club Hopper. It is very dark but I blend her out with my Mario, Makeup by Mario little brush that comes on. I don't ever use the shade. Oh, wait, I just used the brush, so genius on that one. So next I'm using this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Supermodel. Somebody asked me the other day if I think that Pillow Talk suits my skin tone. And my answer is honestly, no. I love Charlotte Tilbury lip products. And I think that she has the most shades for my skin that I've ever seen or found. But um, I personally don't like how Pillow Talk looks on me as an all over lip. I kind of like how it looks in the middle. I do like the Pillow Talk Intense because there's a couple of different variations of it. The Nova Beauty lip glosses are actually freaking amazing. I love them because they're just very buttery and they literally last for a long time. Like I wore this exact makeup look to my shoot yesterday and it stayed on all day and it was actually 110 degrees outside. Lip gloss in the shade No Cap. Also, you guys, I'm so sorry that um, I stare at myself when I do makeup or like YouTube videos. I record all my videos on my front camera of my iPhone because you know what? Right now, that's easy for me. And I don't have to like export and import files from a camera and do like that whole thing. So in order for me to be consistent at the time being, <laughs> I am just sort of easing myself into this life, right? So I always forget to look at the camera and then I just look at What's actually crazy is how I was just bragging about how I like to use my phone to record because it's so much easier. And then I ran out of storage and had to go run to delete like 600 videos off my phone. So hopefully I can finish filming this, but we're almost done, don't worry. Like look at this perfect lip. It is so pretty. It's a pretty nude color. I really like how it looks in person a lot more than how it looks on camera. It's like the perfect neutral lip, but it's also just so fall. And it's not just your typical like brown lip. Growing up when I used to read about like fall makeup or like lipstick for darker toned women, 
it would always be like wear brown i'm sorry brown lipstick does not look cute on me and my skin tone personally um i need a little bit of color for me or i haven't found my perfect brown one of the two but this is just so pretty and i truly do think that it is this gloss i need to actually try this gloss with a good chocolate lip shade i think that would be really cute but so the last step of this is going to be using a couple of surprisingly these are a couple of my favorite favorite products ever um these are from play beauty which if y'all watch jesse peyton list the blonde girl she came out with this like makeup line a while back i think around coachella and revolve fest time and i freaking am obsessed like i never hear anybody talking about them but her little like eyeshadow sticks are so good to me of highlight i do the tip of my nose and then i do a line down my nose and that one is in the shade play pink and then this one is a real game changer this one is in the color sunbaked and it's more of like a brown color i'm gonna use this as an under eye pencil Quick break to thank today's video sponsor, Lust Perfume. You may have seen this product go viral on TikTok. This is the Lust Pheromone Unisex Perfume Oil. Basically just this little roll on perfume and I'm very picky with my scents. I love a good unisex scent as well because you kind of have those elements of something a little more masculine and woody, but it's also a little bit feminine and floral. So this is just on its own a unique scent. But the interesting thing about this product is that it contains ethically sourced pheromones and oxytocin. Studies show that pheromones are actually linked to human attraction. You also hear about it with animals and mating, things like that. Less Perfume has kind of revolutionized this idea and put it into a perfume. I think that it is such a cool concept because if you're anything like me, scent plays such a huge role in how attracted you are to someone. So being able to kind of have control over that is awesome. I'll have all the details on how you can grab this perfume oil below. And now let's get back to the video. Okay, and then you guys know the drill. I always love to use a setting spray. This is a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I also like to focus more Oh my gosh, the way I drenched. You guys probably think I'm crazy because I just drenched my face. Trust the process. Um, I'm using this fan that I got at Puerto Vallarta and then I literally saw it at the Dollar Tree. Okay, maybe I actually did overdo it today though. I am soaked. Don't worry, we'll fix it. I'll show you how to fix it when that happens. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and touch a couple of areas on my face with some setting powder on a big fluffy brush again and i'm gonna kind of go creases around my mouth kind of like any areas that i feel need it and here you have it y'all this is my completed makeup tutorial i think it's a perfect makeup look to kind of transition from summer into fall it's a little bit more brown it's a little bit more neutral you have the pink cheeks it's just very feminine very pretty if y'all have been watching my makeup tutorials for a while i'm sure you've noticed the products don't really change like i just tweak one or two things tiny things like using a different eyeshadow color or maybe a slightly different lip color but when it comes to my base makeup and how the makeup actually turns out my core products are very very solid so i highly recommend y'all pick those up again i have everything linked for y'all in the description below love you i appreciate you y'all have been really showing my channel so much love and my platform so much love in general thank y'all so much for watching today's video and i will see you next time